Okay. So. All right. So we are wrapping Glenda's legs here. We are going to put the stockinette on. This is kind of like a little sock. Oh, that's not a compression stocking. Nope. It's just a cotton stockinette, so it protects the skin from the bandages, and it protects the bandages from the skin. Wow. So. Double protection. Just, just kind of like a sock, like you okay. wear a sock with your shoes. Okay. Then we're gonna put uh, a little is bit of any foam. Particular type of fabric. This is cotton. Cotton. Okay. Yep. This is four-inch cotton stockinette, and then um, we're gonna put a couple little pieces of foam. This is Rosadol foam, but any any light foam will work. We're gonna put one piece around her ankles here, this shorter piece, and then we're gonna put a strip that goes over the top of her foot up her shin bone. And this is just gonna give a, a little bit of padding and a little bit of give to those bandages. We're gonna start with our narrowest, smallest bandage. And we're gonna start where the toes start. So her toes are gonna peek out. And the, the foam's gonna start there too. We're gonna do a few layers right where the, the toes start. I do something called a herringbone pattern, but if you want to keep it simple, you can just spiral up. The trick is we're not doing it real, real tight. We're just layering, and the more layers is the more compression. So you want more layers down low, less as you work your way up. The real tricky part is getting that little piece of uh, foam trapped on there, and once that's on there, you're uh, in good shape, but we're moving from the toes upward. Working our way up that leg. And you'll find that your tiny little bandage should make it to about the ankle. And then it's a little easier if you cut, if you tear off some pieces of tape beforehand so that they're ready when you're done with the bandage. So then we move to our medium bandage. So we go from smallest to biggest on the bandages. We start where this little one ended, right about the ankle. And we're gonna take this one up her leg. This one's not gonna be quite as layered because we're doing less layers as we work our way up. We're gonna get kind of close to where her knee is with that one. And then our last one, we're gonna unite the whole leg with this one. This is our widest bandage. So we're gonna go the whole length of the leg with this one. Starting from where the toes start, spiraling our way up. Is that a, an ace bandage? It is a short stretch bandage. These are made by Bioform is the company that we use, but different. Um, I think they might even, I think they're Sigvaris Bioform, but they're just a short stretch. So they're not quite as stretchy as an ace bandage. Okay. That's the main difference, but. Are they a certain length? Um, I think they're 10, gosh, I want to say they're 10 meters. Might be five meters though. Um, but they're just, it's kind of a standard bandage length. And then the width is different. The width is, we had a six centimeter was the smallest one and an eight centimeter was medium and 10 centimeter was the widest one. Okay. And then we do a little extra tape on that last bandage because that's the bandage holding everything together. Then when you go to take these off. And what kind of tape is that? This is 3M Transpore Tape, two inch. And you can what, take- What's the tape name of it? 3M Transpore Tape and- um, Transport. You can take it with you. Okay. Okay. And I will get you also, I'll get you another roll of that and I'll get you some more of these socks. So, okay. Something with some grip on the bottom, you know, some clogs or sandals or these socks, just so you're not slipping and sliding. <laughs> You feeling okay in there? Yeah. So All right. Of it. So make sure we take them off if they're uh, painful, irritating your skin, feeling too tight. 
or if you're getting really full of fluid and it's making it hard to breathe, okay? Okay. All right. Right, my dear, what do you want your Miralax with? Water, OJ, apple juice. 